Hey guys, happy Tuesday. Hope all is well. Hi, I just wanted to give you some motivational message for Tuesday. Um, I know for me, if anyone is an outlier or people that don't really follow trends, I want to motivate you guys to continue to do that. Create your own, continue to build upon your own thing, continue to find companies, people that are also aligning with your vision. I know for me, for a long time, for me, if anyone knows me, I started as a contractor and I was always succumbing to other people's type of things, like their look. I always, I look at old pictures and I'm like, I look old. I was trying to look all like stiff, old, and I'm like, I grew up actually doing art in school and doing dance classes. Like my favorite um, subjects were always math and art, and I'm like, when I went to business school and was doing things in school, I was thought I had to like succumb to this idea of what a businesswoman looks like, like a stiff old, I had like a short haircut and I was like always wearing those power suits. I'm like, that was not me. Like I was, that's not really who I was. I was always very creative, very, um, I am still very creative, very, um, uh, fun, innovative, fast paced. And when anyone that's looking for companies or looking for creating their own thing, never deter your, your, who you are for other things. There's things and there's people and there's companies that align with you. It may not be perfect. Let's just be real as well, but still finding things that align with your vision. You don't have to change, inherently change who you are to fit other people's mold. I think that's the biggest message for people, especially young people um, who are looking for things or looking for um, creating things that you have to follow certain trends, things that make you who you are is be able, being able to love your idiosyncrasies, being able to embellish those, be able to maximize those and finding things that allow you to be you to the fullest. Because if you are happy, if you're working your authenticity to the fullest, that's not only going to perform profit you is going to profit the company because other people will relate in that if you can also can also build on that skill set in school like for me getting my MBA in project management my B in economics I know I'm very analytical and I have a lot of marketing and project management so I always wanted to broaden my skill set so I can even add more value so also embellishing those things continue to train yourself take more classes that are helping to make you better in your skill set of who you are um and i just think um it's just something i want to motivate people in more because there's a lot of people th who think a business you know or business or whatever it could be any field that has to look a certain way like if you're in ministry you have to look a certain way if you're in business you have to look a certain way if you're in healthcare you got to look the certain way i know a lot of male healthcare workers i know a lot of female ministers i know a lot of um ministers that wear t-shirts you know I, you know there's no th th just be yourself you know and be bring that to wherever you're going feel don't feel like you have to adjust or change who you are to fit a mold be yourself to the fullest and don't 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 succumb to the thought of people saying oh well you need to suck up or to, to rec enact certain ways to get people's approval you know there's one thing about networking and partnering and meeting people I'm about that too you should do that too but don't feel like you have to be fake and acting like you need to do things that are not what your God-given gifts are or who you are period you know be yourself to the fullest and knowing that and understand that there are places people things that will support who you are without changing who you are inherently. I think being a contractor for eight years, I was always, you know, doing contracts with big names, doing federal government as well too. I was always changing myself, like to fit and in in being adaptable. I think being adaptable is important. You know, it's a great, it's a great asset, but also being able to change yourself to fit in someone's mold was something I had to do. And I had to come to realize that's not who, that's not making me happy. I have to be something, I have to be, I have to align who I am to a company permanently that's supporting who I am and doing things on the side that's also supporting who I am to the fullest. Because at the end of the day, you're going to be happy. At the end of the day, when you die, you ain't going to be looking at, God's not going to care about your resume. He's going to be seeing what have you done to impact people. 
what have you done to make people happy how are you happy at the end of the day you know you know and i'm not gonna knock people's hustles sometimes you gotta start somewhere it's not gonna be perfect sometimes you gotta start and pay your dues do internships i've done internships and things too that may not be exactly what you're doing you know but if you can find an internship that is aligning with you that's good too but sometimes not you should always still steer back to who you are in your soul you know with the company and people and things so i I just want to give that motivational message that um continue to be all that you can be know who you are love who you are love who you are continue to embellish who you are make yourself better continue to educate yourself continue to grow yourself continue to try new things but don't change who you are for people for companies Find things that align with who you are and create things too yourself. And people will also find that. So understand that. That's the biggest lesson. You can probably hear this thing all the time, but I'm telling you someone that lived this, who have, um, who's been a contractor and doing things with different companies and trying to fit myself into different things, doesn't make you happy at the end of the day. You can try to do that and try to play the part and all that stuff, but your authentic self comes out at the end of the day and knowing that there are many many companies and people and things that will align with your vision don't think that there's not some people if you if you want to do your thing do your thing with those companies you know don't think that there's no nothing out there like open your open your mind up to the possibilities create possibilities too my big things about creator being creative as well so I just want to motivate that again. Anyone that's in that in this COVID and just in life, <laughs> it's a life lesson. Um, that's that's something I love. Don't I remember I got this book. One more thing before I go, I got this book and I looked at my name, Maya M A Y A M A Y A, and it means God's creative power. And I was like, I never want to forget that God's made me a creative person. I don't ever want to minimize that. I don't ever want to, I don't ever want to forget who I am. I want to always be able to be who I am to bring that to something, into someone, into something, you know. Don't, don't ever try to change who you are. Please, don't, don't do that. That's the, I feel like that's the biggest slap in the face to God. Because he made you so, so, so special, so, so creative, so, so different. For a reason and to change that and to try to be something that you're not to fit something else and to fit something else it's not it's this the biggest slap to god when he wants you to be all that he's created you to be and more do you understand so i understand that it's you know you gotta align with policies i'm not trying to say okay don't no don't just come in to an office wearing your purple hair saying okay i'm being all that can be don't be going too wild too you know what i'm saying (laughs) but being being able to find things that allow you to be who you are and that feeling ashamed that you have to hide it or you have to just change and then just feel unhappy and, and you know when you're a pink person a hot pink person and you try to live in a beige world that's not me so do things create your own find things there are a lot of hot pink type of things and hot people personalities that you can connect with too you know and connect and connect and connect and network and there are people like you there are things like you and there's things that you can make better and make a change with. So um, I hope this motivates people too. Also, you guys, get my COVID mess, uh, mask too to support New Jersey. Um, some of the proceeds will go to some of the children's hospitals in the New Jersey at www.missmayajessica.com um, slash store. Get some of my mask and again, some of the proceeds will go to partial of the proceeds will go to some of the children's hospital in New Jersey um, because the tri-state area has been hit with COVID. So um, I would really appreciate your support there too. Again, stay authentic, stay true to yourself and go hard as well too. Still go hard, go hard still, (laughs) you know, still go, still go hard. So (laughs) have a great day guys. Thanks.